ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் எப்டிஎம் கிளாஸ் ட்ரைனிங் டூ ஸோ ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் ஐ வாஸ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் த ஹவு த டாட்டா வில் ஃப்ளோ ஃப்ரம் சோர் சிஸ்டம் டு டார்கெட் சிஸ்டம் இந்த டயக்ராம் ஸோ இந்த சீட் செவன் ஐ திங்க் யூ ஆல்ரெடி சி த ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் த டாட்டா ஃப்ளோ ஃப்ரம் சோர்ஸ் டு டெஸ்டினேஷன் ஹெட் அஸ் கோ டு த ஷீட் நம்பர் எயிட் If you observe in the sheet number 8, there is a source system, I just considered only the India and uh, you can see and uh, you can able to see the my account on the screen. Uh, that is like a revenue, expense and assets and liabilities. Uh, so this file is called a GL file and uh, from the source system, uh, this, uh, this file has to be the imported into the FDM. after that the same file has to validated and the same file has to be exported to the target system so the file should pass like this if gl file will go into the fdm imported ex- validated and exported to the from india to the usa where the hfm was installed in the usa in the usa target system was there the same data will flow from here to here source system okay because this is this is a fdm tool and uh, this this is a tool we have to make this tool understandable so that here i have explained the what is the target here target is a hfm and what is application name target application name is x y z there might be a lot of application in the hfm so i uh, i uh, to which specific uh, hfm application the data has to be travel so i mentioned as a x y z and uh, where this hfm was installed means the particular server where hfm was installed server name target server name is a abc and uh, the data here to which entity the data has to be traveled so the data has to be traveled to specific entity i mentioned uh, india because the data is flowing to the indian indian entity and uh, that data has to be uh, like a travel from the specific india entity to the hfm target and this data will go and sit in the specific india okay this is the thing if you come to the sheet number 9 so uh, that is our thing is fine this gl file gl file has to loaded in this and the data has to travel uh, and uh, here target application the path is there you will travel here that is nothing problem because when you observed here the source system gl accounts are it was started with the 5000 6000 and so internally it is a 6001 6002 7000 8000 so revenue account is a 5000 that is amount is a 100 if you come to the target system here uh, the amount r- r- revenue revenue account number m- mentioned as a 191900 expense uh, 2900 what i what i want to tell is here target accounts are account names are chart of accounts names are different when you compared with the source chart of accounts is this is a thing so when you when you imported this gl in, 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 into the india entity how come this fdm will understand this file has to be traveled to the specific india entity and uh, and the, and the same accounts because here chart of accounts is the 5000 of revenue here chart chart of account is 19000 how come this file has to be traveled this is a question so how come this fdm will understand this 5000 of source of the source gl file 5000 revenue account is same as target 1900 account so, so this file generally this uh, fdm will not able to understand 
about this exactly yet. so that to make understandable to fdm what we need to do means we need to import one file is called a mapping file what is a mapping file and what is existing in the mapping file if you see in the mapping file there is a source gl file target is a hfm okay in the source gm file is a 5000 revenue 6000 expense in the below uh, is in the below uh, expense 6000 16612 7000 8000 Th this is a source chart of accounts this is a target chart of account if you load this completely file into the fdm okay when then whenever we imported the gl file into the source source india entity this fdm will understand oh 5000 revenue accounts means 100 rupees has to be placed to the revenue account so 5000 revenue account means this fdm will compare in the source in the mapping file okay 5000 account is the target is 19000 revenue account so this 100 has to be 100 has to be transferred to the 1900 revenue accounts because this account this account this account are same so that's why whatever the amount is, is existing 100 rupees in the uh, 5000 the target the same amount is transferred here so what i want to say is what i want to say is generally uh, like a source entities they will be maintaining a different different chart of accounts whereas uh, whereas the target uh, they will be maintaining a uh, one chart of accounts so here the source so the source entities chart of accounts and target uh, uh, target of chart of accounts are different in this in this case fdm will not understand uh, this chart of account the source chart of account and target chart of accounts are same so in this in this situation then fdm will check that source chart of accounts in the mapping file then it will understand like how oh, these chart of accounts and the uh, source chart of accounts and target chart of accounts same and we need to t this uh, fdm will transfer the amount to the particular of these accounts okay now let us go to the sheet number 10 this is uh, like a source we are Im importing here and uh, exporting to the target so finally what i want to say is fdm is a tool which uh, it is a ETL tool, extract, transfer and load, same as like Informatica data staging and it is mainly using for Hyperion financial, uh, like ma it is mainly uh, using for Hyperion application. This is nothing will do, this is very simple, uh, it will, th this will be, this will be importing a file from the source entity, uh, like here I am showing here in India importing and after that it will be validated any mistakes are there or uh, so any syntax error any errors if we there uh, val validation error it, it will be check here and after that it will be exporting to the target uh, if you if you want to uh, export to the target uh, there should be some path will be there this path will be uh, will will be existing uh, whenever we imported the adapter path here adapter path uh, is a hfm is adapter but this uh, source has to be transferred to the hfm only and uh, this one will not understand to to where it it has to transferred so it it will be the tool will be asking whenever you were importing the file the tool first fdm will ask who is the target then uh, then 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 you will say like a target is hfm then there are a lot of uh, uh, hfm application are that to which exactly application i need to transfer this gl file then we were telling like a xyz application then it will ask where where is the target uh, server name what is the target server name so that so that i can able to send this file to the target then we are mentioning like a target server name is a abc to which location i need to send this gl file we are telling like a uh, send this file to the india location and it will be asking whether the did you did you imported the path adapter path be, be, because i need to send this file to the target yes we have imported then it will be uh, importing the 
gl file and uh, there gl file then it will be comparing with the mapping file finally it will be sending this to here so <coughs> here is fdm is very simple and uh, uh, it is I, I just shown you how the how the whole process has to be uh, has been doing here okay so let's now we'll be going to uh, uh, take one take one example and uh, we'll will implement uh, so all this in our tool okay next how come means uh, this is is okay this is a hfm installed image file and uh, i just want to show you the let me open so this is the hfm application application name is a dairy one and th th this is a data grid where you can see the actual 2013 period is april periodic and now i am planning to load the data for india entity india entity of this particular point of view I can able to directly enter the data either we can uh, how can we can able to load the data one is we can able to enter data directly in the grid one otherwise we can able to lo load the data in the HFM another one another third one we, we can able to load the data through FDM now i am going to do is i am going to load the data through fdm after loading the data through fdm data will be able to see this here of this particular point of view we'll do this in the fdm class training class number three and uh, hope you understand and if you if you are having any questions you just uh, send me the mail my mail id is uh, vijay reddy hfm at the rate of gmail.com v i j a y r e d d y h f h f m at the rate of gmail.com thank you very much for listening my class thank you